Howdy howdy, I'm Michael from Thermaltake Australia and today I want to give you the lowdown on DLSS. You've probably heard the term before or seen it in your game's graphics settings and it sounds really important, right? But considering its recency, many of us probably couldn't tell you what it is. I mean, what does it even stand for? A dinky little super soaker? A Donald loves slippery sausages? No, you silly little boy. DLSS obviously stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. Basically, it's a technology developed exclusively for NVIDIA graphics cards that use machine learning and AI to render a video game you're running at a lower resolution before building the image back up to your desired native resolution, essentially upscaling the game's graphics in real time for your monitor to display them at this high resolution. The way this is done is that NVIDIA through Neural Network feed this AI thousands of high resolution images, along with lower resolution images that haven't been tampered with. This allows the AI to reference the quality of the source image and rebuild it into that higher quality version. And perhaps most impressive of all, it doesn't require that much intensive computing from your GPU. So, unlike cranking your settings onto Ultra that will tank your frames should your card not be able to handle it, you can utilize DLSS to achieve higher resolutions with less performance loss. Meaning, in single player games for example, you're basically being handed a higher resolution and more FPS at no extra cost. Pretty impressive stuff. Now, it's important to know that this is still very new technology, introduced in 2019. Right now, it's something that's exclusive to RTX 20 and 30 series graphics cards, so it's not something that just anyone can utilize right now, with its implementation into newer games being a slow and steady progression. So, my apologies, potato PC users. In fact, as of 2022, the latest version of DLSS 2.0 is still only supported on a per-game basis as decided by the developer, meaning it's still kind of uncommon and not every game utilizes it just yet. So don't get it twisted, this isn't some magical formula that will upscale your older games into 1080p, so leave the secret of Monkey Island in its box, alright? However, if you do own a newer game that provides the option to enable DLSS and you have the appropriate graphics card, we thoroughly recommend you take advantage of that. If you can't though, it's certainly not the end of the world, as it is in no way necessary to be able to play the latest and greatest, it's just a handy little option for those who wish to utilize it. The differences aren't as night and day as the marketing would make you believe, so I wouldn't suggest you're missing out here if you have, say, an AMD 6000 series card. In terms of any drawbacks or negatives, visual quality varies on a game-to-game -game basis. While some games will go from looking good to great with DLSS turned on, it may produce some ghosting on others, so tinkering with your graphic settings in-game is certainly recommended. All in all, hopefully we've given you a bit more clarity today surrounding what DLSS is and what it does. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave us a like, and if you think we forgot anything, let us know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. Also, while you're still here, check out either of these two videos that are probably on my face, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.